It's no secret that the 2021 NBA Draft features a highly touted group of five prospects that teams all across the lottery are hoping to be lucky enough to land on draft night. However, just outside the spotlight is a player projected to go in the top 10 that I believe is the most NBA ready in this class. A 6'6 freshman guard from the University of Arkansas, Moses Moody showed flashes of a scoring skill set that is cut straight from the mold of a young Bradley Beal, with a smooth game that rivals that of a seasoned vet. Over the course of his first season in Fayetteville, Moody averaged 16.8 points on 42% shooting, 1.6 assists, and 5.8 rebounds per game, being named the SEC Freshman of the Year and an AP All-American. He would help lead the Razorbacks to their first Elite Eight since 1995, returning the once historic program to their place at the top of college basketball and becoming the first one and done prospect in the university's history. With a combination of perimeter shot making and defensive potential, today we're going to take a look at why Moses Moody is built for the NBA. When evaluating Moody's game offensively, it's not hard to see why scouts have been calling him an NBA prospect from the moment he stepped foot on a college court. He carries himself like an NBA veteran, playing at an effortless pace that makes the game look easy. Around the arc, Moses shot 36% on 5 attempts per game, but he's a much better shooter than the numbers show, with all the tools needed to become an elite sniper at the next level. This all starts with a smooth release that he can get off against all types of defenses, thanks to a 7-1 wingspan and great footwork. He's a quality shooter, both off the catch and out of the triple threat, being able to size up defenders with a quick jab before rising up for a jumper, proving to be a guy who can knock down shots in a variety of ways. The most intriguing part of this aspect of his game is the potential he has as an off-ball shooting threat at 6'6", especially considering how much experience he gained from Arkansas running sets to get him open looks. He showed an advanced IQ when playing away from the ball, being able to find open spots in the defense on relocations, and reading his defender well when coming off down screens and flares. The way he could stay on balance when shooting on the move is encouraging when you think about how crucial that is against NBA defense and it's one of the reasons I feel Moody is just scratching the surface of his potential as a shooter. The other way he can expand his value in this way is by becoming a more consistent and aggressive shooter off the dribble from three. He showed flashes of how deadly adding this skill could be to his game especially considering the length he has and his ability to rise up and get shots off above contests. It's something that he needs to become more comfortable doing to really reach his ceiling as an all-around perimeter threat, but I have no doubt that he has all the tools to make an impact right away from deep. While the three-point line is what has Moody high on draft boards, the mid-range is where he makes his money, using dribble pull-ups to attack closeouts and getting to his spots whenever he wants. This is one reason that Moses is one of the highest quality shooters in the draft, electing to look for the best shot available on every possession and not forcing many bad looks that he couldn't knock down. Aside from traditional dribble pull-ups, he has a solid turnaround jumper and the ability to hit shots off multiple pump fakes to get the defense off balance. The way he can get shots off against heavy defense is something that reminds you of some of the game's best scores, and is definitely not something you see from many draft prospects, especially not someone who's only 18 years old. Add in the way he proved to be effective at drawing fouls like an NBA player, getting defenders up in the air to create contact before knocking down 81% of his free throws, and it leaves you with the blueprint of a player that could someday develop into a primary scorer. It'll be interesting to see if he can get off the same looks against NBA Link, but with a crafty veteran feel to his game at such a young age, you can only imagine how he'll develop with actual pro experience. With 3 and D wings being a hot commodity at the NBA level, it's no wonder Moody's defensive potential has piqued team's interest. He has all the tools to be a great defender in the future, with the lateral quickness and length to potentially guard the 1-4. through four. During his freshman year, he held his on-ball matchups to only 32% from the field, moving his feet well despite not being the fastest athlete and using his wingspan to make life difficult for matchups. This also allowed him to make an impact 
impact off ball, using his size to become an effective shot blocker and help defender. Towards the end of the season, Moses really locked in defensively, and it was one of the turning points for Arkansas' season. If he can mentally commit to playing high-level defense as he showed he's capable of, then it could easily become a staple of his game, instead of just potential. He crashes the boards hard, coming up with almost six rebounds, two of them being offensive per game this past year, something that makes him even more valuable on the floor as an impact player. Right now, I could see Moody being a perfect fit to fill a 3 and D role with the team as a rookie while he fully develops on both sides of the ball. As we saw at times throughout the season, especially during the NCAA tournament, Moody had a bad habit of fading out of games, going for long stretches without even attempting a shot. This is a concern considering he was Arkansas's primary scoring threat throughout the season, and it's something that has to be addressed if he's going to reach his ceiling as a pro. I'd like to see him becoming more aggressive in the way he attacks one-on-one -on -one situations, being able to take guys off the dribble and go get a bucket whenever you need him to. Growing as a primary ball handler in an offense, not just playing off ball, but being able to orchestrate and make plays is the next step in his development. I'd like to see him show more of the killer instinct that came out at times during the season and continue to expand his ability as a playmaker to really justify becoming a primary guy for a franchise. In terms of his scoring, the biggest cause for concern is a lack of consistency as a finisher that seems to be the main thing holding him back from having a bigger role in an offense. There are questions about his natural athleticism, but I believe with his size and length, he can still be effective going to the rim without playing above it. I'd like to see him translate some of the craftiness from his mid-range game into his play around the paint, using more angles and floaters to convert attempts inside. Evolving into a more effective finisher is what can take him from just another good perimeter player to an all-around scoring threat that will give defenses nightmares. Moses Moody is a player that I watched closely this past season. He helped reestablish a program with success and made a name for himself as one of the best freshmen in the country, proving that he belonged at the top of NBA draft boards. That being said, Moses benefits from having one of the highest floors in this class. He's a smart and efficient player that can fill an immediate need for an NBA roster from day one. But there's more value in his game that can just be seen from the surface. After taking a closer look, there are few prospects who seem to be as league ready at this stage in their careers as Moses Moody, and I believe it's his potential that should have teams most excited. What's going on y'all? This is Trice here. I want to thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your constant support. Don't forget to drop a like, leave feedback in the comment section below, and subscribe for more content. Remember to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any new videos as soon as they hit YouTube.